Hello, one and all, and welcome to the first episode of Fairy Tales in a Flash. And this week we will cover the Hare and the Hedgehog. I don't know if it's just going to be every week. We will see what we decide with the schedule. It might not be consistent, because education's important. So we shall dive on into it. So one morning, the hedgehog, this is our hedgehog, the, the blue creature, says... T- sees the hare, and says, Hello, Mr. Hare. What are you out doing today on this fine day? As you can see, it's sunny, so we are having a good day. The hare says, Well, on this fine day, I am out taking on a walk. Which causes the hedgehog to say, Haha, I can run, though. The hare says, No, you cannot. Riveting dialogue, I know. And the hedgehog says, because he is upset that the hare dares question him, because he has crooked legs, supposedly, because that's how hedgehogs work. And oh no, you're making fun of my crooked legs. Hedgehog says, we shall race to see. And the hare asks, what will we bet and wager? So the hare responds, we will wager a golden Louis d'Or and a bottle of brandy. A Louis d'Or is a golden coin, French coin. So they shake hands, and that's that. They race the next morning. So the hedgehog is telling his wife all about this over dinner, and the hedgehog's wife says, You idiot, you're not going to be able to outrun a, a hare. What are you going to do, you stupid hedgehog? Why did I even marry you? You're, you're not very smart. And the hedgehog says, Oh, but I am very smart, because you look like me, because we are both hedgehogs. So you'll stand on one side of the track, and I'll stand on the other. The hare will always think that we are ahead of him, even though he won't see us pass. So that's a kind of a flaw in our plan, but the hare's also not very smart, so we'll be fine. And the hare's wife says, that'll probably work. We'll, we'll see what goes down. All right. You know what? I, I, what's the wager again? A coin and a bottle of brandy? Let's go for it. So on the day of the race, the hedgehog runs, and the hare runs, but the hedgehog stops. And on the other side of the track, we see that the hare's, the hare's there, and the hedgehog's wife is also there. And it looks like the hedgehog, not the hedgehog's wife, beat the hare. So then he runs back, because speed. And then just keeps happening, and happening, and happening, and happening. And happening, and my god, this joke has gone on for way too long, and he dies. So, you know, they get their, they get their, uh, they get their wager after, you know, dead hair and all that, so they won. So they get their gold coin, this is Sonic, so actually it should be a golden ring, video game joke for y'all. And their bottle of whiskey, cause, you know, the death of an animal is worth a coin and some whiskey. I'm sorry, brandy. It's alcohol. That's what's important. And then, the end. So you know how stories are supposed to have a moral? Let me ask you, what is the moral of this story? Just take a second and guess. Alright, that was more than a second, but I'll, I'll allow it. What do you think? I'm going to read you the passage. And I will ask you if you are correct in the comments below. The moral of this story, however, is firstly that no one, however great he may be, should permit him to jest at anyone beneath him, even if he be only a hedgehog. And secondly, it teaches that when a man marries, he should take a wife in his own position, who looks just as he looks. So whosoever is a hedgehog, let him see to it that his wife is a hedgehog also, and so forth. Is that what you guessed? Don't brag and be cocky and take a wife that looks like you. Is that the moral of the story that you guessed? So yes, is that is that really the moral of the story? What is this story anyway? This is why no one knows what the story is. So anyway, uh the end I don't know what to say at the end of a YouTube video. That's my first YouTube video. Uh, my sister has a lot of videos. Oh, on the 
channel. Don't know what Cheek really goes by on this. So, uh, have a good night, ladies and gentlemen, and all the other, uh, humans on Earth. Animals, I guess. Try to be inclusive. This is a very awkward end. If you have any ideas for what this ending should be, I guess also leave those in the comments. Bye.